So right away, let's look at our first topic, and that is plane. When we talk about planes, we are talking about lowlands. Remember, we have already looked at highlands, where we talked about mountains and plateaus. So now, it is time to look at lowlands. When we talk about plains, we are talking about an extensive area of lowlands, either with a level or undulating surface. When we say a surface is undulating, it means a rolling surface. Sometimes on the surface you see some bumps, that is ups and downs, so you see the surface rolling. We call that one undulating surface. Or a lowland can be level. A plain can also occur as lowlands and at the bottom of valleys. However, it can also occur on plateaus or uplands and high elevations. Remember, we said that a plateau has a flat surface. So when that surface is very extensive, it can be termed as a plain. Let's look at some features of a plane or characteristics of planes. One, it is a level surface, usually a few meters above sea level. When you look at the picture here, you can see that this land is very level. That is what we term as a plane. So we say that one characteristic, one thing that can be identified with a plane is that it has a flat surface or a level surface. Secondly, there may be low hills which give a typical rolling surface. As I said earlier, plains are also undulating. It's not that it is a low land, so it should be very flat or level. No, sometimes there may be bumps, small hills, which will give it an undulating or rolling surface. And that is another characteristic of a plane. Plains form the best land of a country and are intensively cultivated. You agree with me that most of the agricultural activities that are done are done on plains. Few of them are done on highlands because it is very difficult to cultivate on highlands. So the lowlands are the best land that are usually cultivated when it comes to agriculture. Again, populations and settlements are normally concentrated here. That is the lowlands. When you look at lowlands, most people settle on lowlands as compared to highlands. Then they have deep soil, usually alluvia, and this alluvial soil is very rich in nutrients which help in the growth of crops. So as I said, most of the agriculture activities are done in lowland areas because of their richness in the soil and their flatness or their levelness. They normally have moderate climates. You know, the climate in highlands is very different from those on lowlands. If you have lived in a highland area before, you will tell that the kind of environment or the kind of climate that you experience is quite different from people living in lowlands. It is stated that the higher you go, the cooler it becomes. So the more you live on a grounded or a highland, the more cooler you become. The climate is very cold there. But when you are on a level land, normally the climate is moderate. So we say that plains have moderate temperatures or climate. So let's look at some examples of plains. One is the Indo-Gangetic Plains. These are one of the world-known plains in 
on earth and this is found in india it is called the indo gangetic plain secondly we have the mississippi plains in the united states it is also one of the most talked about plains in the world then we have the Yangtze Plain in China. So these are some of the well-known plains that we can talk about. In fact, in every place there is a plain because every place has lowlands. But with examples, we're talking about the most accepted and widely known plains in the world. That's why we mention these three. So all the lowlands you know are also part of planes. So let's write this in our notebooks and do a quick exercise. We'll be back with the rest.